Hey, it's Jason Bax. How do you go from one crappy little YouTube video to selling millions of bandanas online every single year with a retail store? Well, here to tell us that is John Lawson, the founder of thirdpoweroutlet.com. John, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for asking me to come out. Yeah. So, John, what is Third Power Outlet? What are you about? And how did this start? Let's go. Well, let's go from there. You know, I mean, Third Power Outlet, we call it an online uh, urban clothier or actually urban accessories. So how do you create that affinity, that human connection? Uh, I mean, just, well, one of, I'll tell you one of the great things that we right. did. I and love I, secrets. <laughs> okay, here's one of the secrets. Is that like, if you look at the front page, right? Uh-huh. Having people wear the product sells better than the product sitting there and just spinning on a white background. Because people like to look at other people. People like to see how it's being used by another person, how they're rocking the actual wear. Uh -huh. and, it, and we found out that that actually was better than just the product sitting on a table by itself. So Although it's, you still have to have both, but you know. So, that's give, one of those. Now, so give us an example, give us a, if, if let's talk about somebody that has, let's say selling microphones. Okay. You've got a microphone here. And uh, why is this? Well, I can't touch this one because it's, it's on. But why is this microphone here. good? There, there you go. You got a microphone. What's good about that microphone? What do you like about it? It's heavy. You could hit somebody like with that. It. Just it's got that good feel. In an emergency, why, you could really hit somebody. Why do you like the black instead of the silver? Black's tough. Black's tough. Okay, so you got to talk to that audience about why you actually like that product. And I'm not saying from the standpoint of why I like it, but why it makes it different and what the unique selling proposition is for the product. And let's say that that thing had a short cord, you yeah. know, you got to turn everything that would seem like a, you know, a, a negative into a, not necessarily a positive, but into a reality. It's like, this has got a nice short cord on it, so it doesn't get all tangled up, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, those are some of the things that you just kind of do okay. that and personalizes the use of it for your customer. And so it, a picture is worth a thousand words. So you would basically, in, instead of just, here, here's the microphone, you know, go read it yourself. You put it in a live situation or a live scenario. I'm going to show so-and-so rocking this microphone. Um, right in a way, like I, I noticed that you use a lot of pictures, not a lot of copy, just a lot of pictures. Right, because pictures, and, and, and you'll see, like if you come there probably a year from now, you would be like, you got a lot of video and few pictures. You know, I mean, just because, I, the thing is, it's like, you look at the, the written word is one thing, the spoken word is another, moving pictures is a whole nother level. Right. When you can put all of those together, in a video format, you've got the still picture, you've got a moving picture, and you've got people talking about it and using it, interacting. That's very powerful, extremely right. powerful. Right. And when you started employing that on your website, that, let's call it tactic, that kind of sales tactic, did you see a bump in sales? You definitely do. Not only that, you'll actually see people getting in and looking longer. You know, there's a lot of different metrics that you, you are able to actually uh, see. And, and one of them is how long do people stay on your site? How many pages do they visit? So, I mean, you're not only, the conversion is not the only metric, you know. That's one of the most important. But if they're not even coming to your site, if they're not staying there, if they do something my friend used to call, my friend David, he calls it, you know, they click, puke, and leave. You know, you don't want that. So the first thing you got to figure out, you're like, well, I want people to convert, but how are you going to convert anybody when they don't even like your site? Right. You know, they're out. So you got to be able to, to, to go all the way back and find right. out what the touch points are.